Good morning, it's Dr. G. And I wanted to say happy holiday. So if you celebrated Easter or you celebrated Passover, happy holiday to you. And I have just been thinking a lot lately about lessons of gratitude that come from crisis. Now, you know, we can definitely dwell on all the negatives that we are experiencing, but you know what? There is so much greatness that is shining through right now. And I'll give you the perfect example of this. I mean, it's just been absolutely amazing. So I worked the last several nights in the emergency department and, you know, I have really been taken aback by just how the community where I live has really, you know, come out and encouraged us as those who are working in the hospital and taking care of patients. I mean, they had... They get, provide us with food. They provide us with donations. It has just been incredible. I had no idea what my community was capable of. And it has been so encouraging to come to work and see the generosity of local restaurants, of local families, families of workers who are at the hospital. And just to see how people have come together and shown their humanity, shown that they are made of greater stuff, that they have that altruistic side that just shines through when there is a situation where there's a crisis. And then the other thing is, you know, I was sitting at the, sitting at my desk and I was doing my work and literally one of the texts from, um, from radiology, she's in the CT department, her name is Sarah. Sarah came over and Sarah was basically said, hey, Dr. Gregory, I have something for you. And I was very um, kind of like surprised because I couldn't imagine what she could possibly have for me. And she whipped out a little surgical hat from behind her back. And I have to say that I was almost on the brink of tears because she took the time to make this hat and she gave it to me and it was just, it just made my day. It really allowed me to kind of push forward even more over the course of the night. And it just was so encouraging. And she was just going around and she was helping, you know, helping other colleagues. She basically would put buttons on their hats so that when we put our masks on, because when you put the mask on, it rubs on the back of your ear. So she put buttons on the hat so that the string from the mask would be up on the button to take the pressure off of the ear. I mean, such a simple thing. She also was giving, you know, sewn masks to um, co-workers so that when, you know, when you go to the store, you could utilize that or, you know, when, whenever you could utilize it. And, you know, just a simple act of kindness like that, it just completely transformed everybody's mood and it did so quite quickly. And I just, you know, I just, it just made me think like, wow, you know, just these simple acts of kindness just can spark so much gratitude and such so much um, thankfulness in you know in in us and you know we're we're working we don't obviously you know we'd rather be home with our families of course but we made a promise we made an obligation we have an obligation to serve and you know just the the kindness that has been. Um, put forward by the community has just really encouraged us has really put us you know helped us to want to keep going want to keep serving and so I just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you to everybody who has said a thank you to a doctor to a person that works at the supermarket to a person who is delivering items to the home you know just a thank you just those simple acts really make all the difference because like I said, we all want to be home, but you know, if we can't, if we're an essential worker and we have to be out there, we have to be out there cleaning the rooms so that patients can get in there. We have to be out there checking in the patients so that they can get seen. We have to be out there managing the team as a physician. You have to be out there taking care of the patients one-on-one -on -one as a nurse. So whoever you are, Thank you again. Thank you for everything 
Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for being there in the grocery store so that I can get my essential supplies. And thank you, thank you, thank you, because without you, this wouldn't work. Without you, it just wouldn't. And, you know, it just makes me feel extremely grateful, extremely thankful that I'm a part of a community that stands together like this and that steps up to help each other when we're in a crisis. So I just wanted to share that story with you because I felt like maybe you might be in a place where you're, you know, you're feeling down because you can't leave your home. Maybe you're in a place where you are frustrated or fearful about everything that's going on. I hope that this will encourage you that maybe start thinking about if you haven't already, thinking about how you can um, pay forward a little bit while you're home. And that will just really help with encouraging and putting more positive in your mindset bank, putting more positive in your gratitude bank. Because when we're in a situation like this, we tend to focus on the negatives. We don't tend to focus on the things that we are grateful and thankful for. And those are the things that are going to help us to be resilient and to come out on the other side of this triumphant. So I hope that the story encourages you. I hope that you're going to be thinking about all the things that you're grateful for and thankful for. I also hope that you will be thinking about ways in which you can help your neighbor or you can thank the person that or persons that are helping you during this time and just help to shine on, help to spread the positive because that is the power that we all need in order to get through this darkness. So Happy Monday. Have a great day. This is Dr. G and I hope that you will be strong, be brave and unleash your greatness.